Good morning, everybody. It is Heidi, and I wanted to pop on this morning because I have had a lot of people lately asking about the must-have gifts for the tea lover. People are shopping for Christmas and need a little bit of help. So I put together a list of my top 10 must-haves from the Sipology catalog, the things that I'm using on an everyday basis, and the things that I think any tea lover in your life would be thrilled to have as a gift. So just a little disclaimer before I get started here, this list is not in any particular order. Um, so I'm not going to like end with my favorite or start with my favorite and work down or up. It's just a random list that I put together the other day. And the other disclaimer is that this list does not include RTs themselves. Okay. Um, we have over a hundred flavors of loose leaf teas. I don't like being asked which is my favorite because my favorite changes on a day-to-day -day basis. It depends on the weather, it depends on my mood, it depends on how I'm feeling, if I have a headache, or whatever. Um, I, I have so many different favorites that it's ridiculous. So I see a couple people are watching, so please say hi so I know that you're watching and I can interact with you. Hi Kim, it's nice to see you. Good morning, Holly. Um, <clears throat> If you're watching on the replay, that's great too. Just um, leave me a message and tell me that you were watching the replay. And um, I'm anxious to see what you think of my top 10 um, Sipology products. So again, for those who are just popping on, this does not include our teas, okay? The teas are my favorite thing in the whole catalog. They're the reason why I started my Sipology business in the first place. So the teas are not listed here. That's a given. The teas are the best. Everybody, if you're a tea lover or you know a tea lover, you will be safe to purchase them some teas. So for that reason, the tea is not on my list of top 10 items. However, there are some product lines that I am going to list in this list. So my first thing I want to talk about is our brand new personal tea press. Hey, Amber, sorry, I'm glad that you could pop in. Thank you for saying my hair looks so, super cute. So I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Holly who is also watching. She sells lemongrass spa products and they have a sea salt spray that is going on their Black Friday sale today at 11. I'm not sure what time it is right now. Um, is it 11 yet? I don't know. But anyway, is it Ian? It's 11 right now? 1020. Okay, so at 11 o'clock, their Black Friday sale I think is starting. Holly, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but the sea salt spray is great for um, scrunching and getting these beachy wave thing. So I did this yesterday, and this is how my hair looked when I woke up this morning. Now, obviously, I put a little clippy here because this was kind of insane in the front but anyway $15 for an eight ounce bottle of the sea salt spray and it smells incredible it's got um, coconut and pineapple and vanilla scents in it and all their stuff is all natural so um, yeah less than an hour Holly so yeah Wendy definitely I think I'm gonna order two bottles I was sitting in church yesterday and Ian looked at me and he went he said um, what why do you smell like um, cotton candy and I said, first I was thinking he thought I stank. So I said, um, um, I don't know, because the spray, I, body spray I use is always like an apple scent. And then I remembered it was my hair. So I think my hair smelled really good because cotton candy smells good, right? But I think it smells more like a pina colada in the bottle, which I love. So anyway, that's my shout out for my hair. And then a couple people were wanting to see this shirt that says, um, murder shows and comfy clothes. <laughs> I ordered this from another online friend, Denise, who um, sells Asher Kate stuff. I saw this and like the color, isn't that gorgeous? It comes in all different colors, but this color hmm, caught my eye. So anyway, back to, I always have to give a shout out to my friends because I'm always supporting my small business friends. Um, <clears throat> but if you want, if you want this shirt, let me know and I can send you a link to um, order it or like the hair stuff, I can give you a link to Holly or she can even post it in the comments now, um, a link to her group so you can see how you can order this hair um, sea salt spray at 11. 
Um, I don't know if it'll sell out or not, so hurry up, because every time I order stuff from them, it always sells out. Okay, so back to my list. So the first thing, oh, thank you. I love this color. I just teal. It's just me. Okay, so um, that was sweet, Jacqueline, though. Thank, thank you. So the first thing on my list is our brand new personal tea press. So I've been using our trendy tea press for years now, and it's great for making multiple cups of tea, but if you're somebody who's on the go a lot, or you just wanna make a cup of tea for yourself that's gonna stay warm, this trendy tea press is amazing. Now, this one that I'm holding here is our copper one. It is only available for hosts, and we had a gorgeous one that was out for the holidays that just sold out the other day, and I feel really bad about some people that missed out on that one because I know there were people who wanted it, um, some of my hosts, and weren't able to get it. But this is the copper one. I haven't even used this one yet, but how it works is you just put your tea leaves right in here and add your water and set your timer, and then you see the press here. Whenever your timer goes off, you just um, push the plunger down and that will stop the steep. And if you have a tea that you can steep multiple times, you would just pull that back up and do it all over again a little bit later in the day. So this is great for on the go. Um, with all of our personal um, cups, you can get it personalized for an extra $10. So if you have an office setting or someplace where you don't want people to grab your cup and take off with it, I highly recommend personalizing them. But we have it available in the catalog in a white color that's really pretty. I don't have that one to show, so that's why I am showing the copper one. If you want the copper one, great, hit me up and we'll do a party and we can get you one of these, okay? So, Talk to me about that later. So that is the personal tea press. All right, the next thing that I use almost daily is our, yeah, thank you, Holly, for popping your link there. If anybody's interested in this spray, um, check out Holly's link. So the next thing is our party milk frother. Now, I have to add a little disclaimer here. This is not the one that I use on a daily basis. This is the one that's available in our catalog. We had one a couple years ago that was smaller. That's the one that I grab because I'm just usually making milk froth for me and I'm not a big milk person, so I don't like a lot. But if this is the one that's in our catalog, you could froth milk for a crowd in this thing, but the milk frothers are awesome, perfect for making lattes at home. So that's my number two thing that you need to have if you are a tea drinker. Number three, I'm going to talk about this one just really briefly because it's sold out of our catalog right now, but it's a total must have. So I want you to write it on your wish list so you can get it when it comes back in stock. But this is our um, tea timer. Okay. Now I have mine in a teal color. The one that's in the catalog now is white on the bottom, but it still does the exact same thing. It has settings on it for all the different kinds of teas because that is the most important thing when you're brewing a cup of tea is the time. Okay. And when you get one of our bags of tea, you will see right on the back, it tells you exactly how long to steep it. This is a black tea. So it says two to three minutes. And if you look on the timer, Black and Puer are listed right between two and three there, about the two and a half minute mark. Um, this thing is my lifesaver because if you go to a restaurant and you've ever gotten a bitter cup of tea, it's not because they used too much or too little tea, it's because they steeped it way too long. The important part of steeping tea is the time and I tend to get sidetracked. I'll make my cup of tea and walk off and find something else to do. This tea timer saves me because it dings and I'm like, oh, my tea's ready. Okay, so put this on your wish list because if you are a tea drinker, you absolutely have to have it. Magnet on the back so you can, I just have mine hanging on the side of the refrigerator but it'll attach to your stove or whatever you have that's metal in your kitchen near where you make your tea, so tea timer. That's all I'm going to say. I'm super sorry that it's not available right now. <laughs> I had one in my cash and carry and I gave that away to a customer the other day. So just add it to your list. Okay. The next thing, and I just literally got this out of my kitchen. It was in use. It smells really good. I'm trying to think what I had in it. Oh, the gingerbread cookie rooibos tea last night in this. Mmm smells so good. Okay, so this is our universal 
tea infuser. And what's so cool about this product is that will sit down on almost any mug that you have at home, unless you have one with a really wide mouth at the top, it won't work with that. But most any mug, this will fit on, and this rubber grippy thing will keep it from sliding down in. And um, it comes with a lid, so you would just sit this on top of your mug, put your tea leaves in here, pour your water down through it, sit this on top, set your tea timer, um, and then when it dings, you can take this off and it will double as a coaster to catch your drip. So you just sit this in here. And again, if it's a tea that you can drink or steep multiple times, you can save it for later. Um, and use it again later in the day. So universal tea infuser, really, really handy gadget for the tea lover in your family. Next up, I don't know what I would do without these three spoons. Okay, you see that we have our cup of matcha spoon, and this is actually a new one. Do you see this nice long handle? If you are a matcha drinker, you know how important it is that they updated this and put this long, long handle on here. So cup of matcha spoon, cup of teaspoon, and mine's actually the prism one, so that's why you see the pretty colors here. Um, the prism, prism cup of teaspoon, but it's also available in the plain silver. And then this is the pot of teaspoon. So if you're making a pot of tea, this is the spoon size that you want to use. These stay on my um, tea stand all the time. Um, when they're when they do get washed, Ian knows they go back on the tea stand. They do not go with the other other teaspoons. So these are just for tea. They are marked right on the handle here you see this one says one cup of matcha it's about half a teaspoon um one cup of tea is about a teaspoon and a half and then this one says one pot of tea so you won't get them confused if you're making like a half gallon of iced tea or something you're going to want to use two of these <clears throat> next thing on my list and i have about a million of these and i still need more is our stacking tea tins um, I store all of my teas, except the ones that I don't have tins for, in the tins, and I mark them. Actually, I mark mine on the tops now with just a little label that says what's in them. Um, this one happens to be Raspberry Cosmopolitan. They do have the double-lined lids to keep your tea nice and fresh. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that just that smells so good. I shouldn't have opened that on, on Facebook Live, but... <clears throat> these tea tins are amazing they do stack I should have brought a couple in they do stack on top of each other and I do have a ton of them stacked and lined up on my tea cart so it will hold somebody asked me the other day do our tins hold a full bag of tea yes they absolutely do with a little bit of room to spare <clears throat> so those are the tea tins you guys have seen me talk about this item a lot lately, and please excuse the disgusting way that mine looks, but this is our Breezy Tea Infuser. If you are looking for a fun gift for a tea lover in your uh, on your gift list, you need to buy them the Breezy Tea Infuser. So this thing comes with a coaster. Okay, mine is disgusting. Mine gets used all the time, and I need to really soak it in some vinegar or Clorox or something. But <laughs> when you get yours, it will look really nice and clear. Um, Holly, the tea tins are only available in white in the catalog. However, and I'm not making any promises, but the last couple years on Black Friday, they had the colored ones. So cross our fingers, maybe. I love the teal ones, and there's purple and other colors they've had available in the past. I have an assortment at my house, but right now in the catalog, only white. Um, <clears throat> so back to the breezy. So the way this thing works is you just put your, um, your tea right in here. There's like a little um, filter thing at the bottom that does come out. <clears throat> okay, and then you add your water. It does have markings on the end here telling you how many ounces. I do have a mark at the... Um, 12 ounce because that's what an average mug is I have some bigger ones too but you can also use this to make a whole pitcher of iced tea you've probably seen me demonstrate that before if you've been following me for a while um, you can use this it's super super versatile and so you set your timer you steep your tea and when it is ready I don't have a mug in here I should have brought a regular mug in I'll just 
demonstrate on one of Ian's cups that's sitting on the table. But when you're ready to drink your tea, you would just sit this on top and do hear that the top of your mug puts pressure on the bottom of the breezy and this liquid that's in here will just drain out right into your cup and your tea stays in here. So it's super fun. It's fascinating to watch. Um, I had a mom ask me about a gift for her 12 year old tea loving son. Definitely the breezy. He's going to have a ball with it. He actually grows his own mint and I said he could actually use that in the breezy too. So that's kind of exciting. <clears throat> okay. Number eight is our big sip. I use these all the time. We have probably five of them. I have gotten rid of a couple that have just gotten to the point where they leak or they're just gross from so many years of use, but Ian steals these all the time. In fact, I think if we were to go up to his bedroom right now, we'd find at least three of them that need to come down and be washed. So. When they came out with these new colors in the catalog, they have a Bahama blue, I think it's called, and this one is electric purple. If I hold it up really close, can you see that it actually has sparkle in it? It's got like glitter. Ooh, look at that, okay. So I got this one hoping that he would keep his hands off of it, and he does so far. He hears me, so he might change his mind. I got mine personalized, so it says Mom's Matcha on it, so he knows this one he needs to keep his hands off of. Some of the other ones are personalized, too, and it hasn't worked so far, but they're more neutral colors. This one seemed a little girly to me. So your Big Sip is great for making iced matcha. I like to put some ice, ice water in here, and then the lid has a built-in. Don't look at mine too close. It looks like it need, needs cleaned. Ian's my dishwasher, so we'll blame him. Um, built-in agitator um, that makes your matcha blend up really, really fast. So these are awesome. Again, if you don't want the kids to use it, make sure you personalize it with something fun that's very um, obvious that it's mom's cup. Okay, now the last two things are not, not um, tea products, but they are part of certain lines that we sell. So I could not live without this stuff, guys. So this is our matcha. You hear me talking about it. You see me posting about it. It's just so, so good for you. It's amazingly delicious. I just grabbed two bags from my baskets. This one is our pumpkin spice, which is part of the regular matcha line. And then one of my new favorites is the sweet blueberry. So we have a sweet line too now. Um, <clears throat> I will show you the nutritional facts on the back of these bags. Can you guys see that? So the sweet one and the regular both say five calories per serving. So that tells you how little um, cane sugar and stevia extract are in the sweet matcha. It doesn't really make the calorie count any higher. Um, but matcha is just amazing for you. It gives you a um, sustained energy boost of about six hours, unlike coffee where you get the the jolt and an hour later you're like oh my gosh I need more coffee you don't feel any of that you don't feel the jolt you don't feel the crash you just have the energy and it's amazing guys um, it also works as an appetite suppressant it's loaded with antioxidants one cup of matcha gives you the equivalent benefits of drinking 10 cups of regular green tea look it up that's your homework assignment and find out all the benefits of green tea and then you've got all the benefits of matcha times 10 okay and then the last thing on my list of absolute must-haves from sipology for the tea lover hi christine is you're popping in right at the end i'm down to number i'm at number 10 now this is my number 10 must-have item and that would be anything from our heal thyself line so the reason I'm talking about these is because matcha and the Heal Thyself teas are probably what I have the most repeat customers coming back for. Um, what's so incredible about these teas, guys, is that the Canadian government, our company is based in Canada, and the Canadian government actually recognizes these teas as medicine. So they are listed on the Canadian government's website where they list all their medicines. These teas are there. Okay. Why? Because we put 
a tremendous amount of research into these teas. We make sure that each one has exactly what you need for it to be considered one dose. And because of that, they are pre-measured into these little um, mesh bags that are biodegradable and do not contain any carcinogens like tea bags that you buy in the grocery store. Um, here in the States, we would call these herbal remedies, but the reason why I have people coming back for more and more is because they work. So we have a whole line of these. We have one for dreaming. Um, <laughs> I went to grab a couple. I grabbed the cardiovascular health. This is um, the newest one that was added to the line back in February. Um, February is coming up again and that's heart health month. If you have any um, heart issues in your family line, definitely grab yourself some of this tea and start drinking it. It tastes incredible. It's got like a strawberry flavor. Um, it has hibiscus and strawberry leaf in it and it's really, really good, guys. Um, worth it for your health, okay? Don't don't take meds. If you can take, if you can drink a cup of tea instead of taking meds, just do it. And then I grabbed this one because I found it kind of funny. This is our Stay Calm. I have two bags of this open in my basket of um, Heal Thyself teas. Why? Because <laughs> I drink an awful lot of Stay Calm tea. If you have any kind of anxiety, stress, you know, just uncertainty right now. I mean, 2020, 2020 required like about a couple of cases of this tea, really, right? So quick disclaimer, don't drink this tea if you're taking meds for anxiety or depression or anything like that. But if you're somebody that just deals with, you know, sometimes a stress or you're just having a really off day and you just feel kind of down this tea is amazing and like i said i go through an awful lot of it so hence the reason why i have two bags open at the same time so that's my top 10 things that would make great gifts from sipology i'm just going to do a really quick recap so personal tea press um available in the catalog only in white i showed the copper if you want the copper you have to do a party i'm sorry but i'd love to help you earn the copper tea press for free um the party milk frother if you're making lattes and um, tea lattes are amazing you can make a fancy drink um, to rival what you get at starbucks um, that will be way better for you and cost you a lot less money but you need the party milk frother to froth your milk the universal infuser um Great for your mu any a mug to make a cup of tea in. Perfect tea timer. Add it to your list. And when it's available, let me know if you want it. And I will reach out to you when the um, tea timer comes back in stock. The three spoons. Cup of tea, pot of tea, and matcha spoon. Must have at your tea station. Um, the stacking tea tins are great for storing your tea. The bags are fine too. They stay fresh in the bags. I should have mentioned that. Um, this, the tea tins just stack up nicer and look a little bit more organized. I did it with the bags for a long time and it was just kind of like a big clump of bags. Um, breezy tea infuser. Uh, probably the most fun gift you could get for a tea lover in your life. The big sip for you matcha drinkers um, who, like me who like your matcha cold. And then our my two favorite lines would be ma the matcha, all of the matcha. I don't think I've met a matcha that I haven't liked so far. And the Heal Thyself Teas um, be a great gift if you know somebody who's dealing with any kind of health issue. We might have a tea for that. So let me know. And um, I hope you found this list helpful. I have several parties going on right now, so if you have something that you want, please shoot me a message and I will give you a link to shop so you can help one of my hostesses who I know would appreciate it. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope your week is off to a great start. It's sunny here. I haven't been outside yet, so I don't know what the temperature is, but it's a beautiful day. We put our Christmas tree up this weekend, so we're starting to get ready for the holidays here. Um, we actually put up multiple Christmas trees this year because it's 2020 and we need we need all the Christmas we can get this year. But I hope your week's off to a great start. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most this week. What are your Thanksgiving plans? Are you staying home because of COVID? Or are you going to be with family or what's going on? We're staying home. 
Um, Ashley and Lance are gonna come over. This is our first, this is my first time making Thanksgiving dinner. So I've made it 50 years without making a turkey, but we're gonna do it this week. So we'll see how that goes. If you have any turkey making advice, please drop it in the comments because I am clueless, guys. So I hope you have a great week. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know, put it in the comments or shoot me a private message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. See you later.